Hi, I'm Robert Kanega, and I'm the uh, curator at the uh, gallery at the Watershed, which is where we are now. And this is a group show that was co-curated uh, with Susie Loudermilk, uh, who teaches, at Lane, uh, teaches printmaking at, at Lane Community College. And we put this show together from printmakers who have a connection to Eugene and who have lived here uh, or worked here or done workshops here. And one of the major players is a guy named Dan Weldon. And Dan lives in Sag Harbor, New York. And I met him a number of years ago doing a workshop at Santa Fe and brought him out here to Lane Community College to do another show. And to, I showed him at Opus 6 along with the show at, uh, along with the workshop at LCC. And he has a real deep connection to printmaking on the, in the Northwest. He comes out here often. And his, he is the guy that invented solar plate. And he did it on a golf course in Japan many, many years ago. He was playing with a couple of Japanese businessmen and the caddy was interpreting. And Dan asked them what they did. And they said, well, we make golf balls. And he reached over and picked up a golf ball and looked at it and he says, how do you get the signature on there? And so they took him to the factory the next day and they showed him the process. And from that experience, he ended up with the polymer that he uses for this. After about seven years of research and working with the company, now you can buy the solar plate and create images of your own. And it's quite an amazing process. I use it in my work almost exclusively and my photographic etchings. And uh, Dan uses it with frosted glass and draws on the glass and then prints that. And it's it's wonderful process. But everything in this show, uh, we have uh, everything but stone lithography, I think. We've got etching, we've got mesotent, we've got wood block, we've got linoleum block, we've got uh, engraving. It's just really a rich, beautiful show. And if you get a chance, please come and see it. One of the things that I love about uh, solar plate and using my studio, I have a non-toxic studio. I don't use any paint thinners. I use turpentine, but real turpentine, not the stuff that they, gum turpentine, the stuff that's cheap. I use real English distilled turpentine and it's much less volatile and you use much less of it. I don't use any type of paint thinners, gam, sol, any of that stuff. It's all very toxic. And this is, I use a lot of water-based inks, and when I use oil-based inks, I still clean with soap and water. I've got brushes that I've had for 20 years that I clean with soap and water and they look brand new. Uh, and the solar plate, because you're creating an etching without acid, you're doing it with the sun and water. Then you're not breathing the fumes, you're not getting your hands in the acid, you're not you know, permeating your space with this horrible chemicals and it's much less toxic and most of the time when I'm washing plates I do it in a dish sink uh, that I take outside and wash the plate in that and then I let that dry in the plate so that I can scrape up if there's any residue and throw it away. That way it's not flushing down the toilet uh, into the system. And it's just another step that you can take to be a little more safe. And it's a great alternative for people that want to do small presses, uh, pieces of relief, like I did today. Uh, it's easy, it's efficient, and it's, it teaches you a lot of care because it's kind of hard. But it's a great alternative to, to any other type of printing, printmaking.
ink on the plate. I'm going to take this over.
No, I went, I went up uh, a little later. I went up on Tuesday and uh, shot the, the vineyard from behind the hill. You got a good straight on view. Since it's you, okay.